Hey guys, I'm here with yet another Duncan review. They have so many new items coming out right now and we're trying to review them all. Today I have the Charlie Cold Foam Cold Brew and I have the new Avocado Toast to review. So if you saw, we reviewed the other two cold brews, the regular Sweet Foam, or yeah, the Sweet Foam Cold Brew and then the Chocolate Stout Cold Brew. And now we have the Charlie Cold Brew. So I'll read to you what it says about the Charlie Cold Brew. It says, the Charlie Cold Foam arrives at Duncan Restaurants Nationwide on February 24th. Charlie D'Amelio has created yet another Duncan drink, but it's just a slight tweak on her signature order. The 16 year old TikTok superstar who launched the Charlie on the Dunkin' menu back in September has once again partnered with the coffee chain to produce her newest caffeinated beverage called the Charlie Cold Foam. The new drink, available starting February 24th, features the same ingredients as De Emilio's go to order a Dunkin' Cold Brew with three pumps of caramel, 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 but with the addition of sweet cold foam and cinnamon sugar on top. She says, it's a nice change up to my everyday drink for the days when I'm feeling like I want something different. The teen exclusively told People. The new sweet cold foam is such a smooth addition and the cinnamon sugar gives it some extra sparkle. So it basically is a little, like I heard it's like a remix to her drink that came out back in October. She had just her uh, cold brew that had three pumps of caramel in it. I, we never tried that one or reviewed it. So I figured we'd review this one because it's, I heard it's really good and I've heard it's pretty sweet. I've heard, and I tend to like the more sweet cold brews. So I really wanted to try it and see since we didn't try her regular one back in uh, September. So the only difference of this one is it just has the cold foam on top and it's got cinnamon sugar on top of the foam. And if you can see here, the foam, the foam has almost already melted down. Like it's almost completely gone. They, it was on there but it just totally dissolved really fast on this one the other ones we reviewed it didn't melt that fast this one the coffee must have been really hot before they put that ice in there but it like melted down fast it's like barely anything left there and i didn't stir it up or anything it's just barely on the top and i don't see any cinnamon sugar sprinkled on the top of this one i don't smell cinnamon either i don't think they put cinnamon on the top of this one it just smells like coffee and caramel but on the right side we have the sip cup. If you saw our last review of the other cold foams, they didn't have the sip cup. They gave it to us in a straw because I'm assuming it was early and maybe they didn't have the cups in yet. I'm not sure, but they have the cups this time. The sip cups with the little hole, kind of like Duncan. This hole's pretty big though, if you can see right there. If you can see it in there, uh, yeah, there you go. Right there, it's a pretty big hole. Duncan's kind of goes up and has a little thing in the front. Or, I mean, Starbucks has a little thing in the front, but Duncan has this big hole on the top. All right, let me try this out and see how this is. Um, it's not bad. Not as sweet as I thought it was gonna be. I don't know if that's because maybe they didn't put enough of that foam on the top, the cold foam, there wasn't a lot on there. With the other ones that we reviewed, they had quite a bit on there and I really tasted that cold foam on there. But this one, it wasn't much on there, it just dissolved completely. But even if it would have dissolved, it would make the drink more sweeter, but it's not super sweet. It's a little watery. I don't even taste, I taste a subtle hint of caramel. Maybe if I try to stir it up a little bit. I don't have anything to stir with. I don't have a straw or anything in here. Maybe if I just shake it up a little bit. See if I can, because I can see the bottom there. You can see like a little different colors there. So I don't know if maybe the caramel settled on the bottom. And that's why I'm not getting a strong caramel flavor. I'm trying to stir it up as best I can without a straw. Okay, let me try it now. No, it's still the same. Yeah, it's very watered down tasting. I don't get like a, that sweet foam, I'm not even tasting like I was in the other ones. And this one, 
I'm getting a little subtle, like a, a slight hint of caramel. Yeah, it's okay. I, not as good as I thought it was gonna be. I still think I prefer, out of the ones we tried, I prefer the original one the best because the chocolate one, we hardly tasted any chocolate at all and it was stronger than the original one. But then I watched Our Life in ADHD. Shout out to Our Life in ADHD here on YouTube. They do food reviews, check them out. If you're not subscribed to them, I'll try to link their channel below. I comment on their video that we had tried the chocolate one and that it wasn't very chocolatey at all and it was actually stronger than the original one. So they did a review on it and they got quite a bit of chocolate flavor in there. So I'm not, it was probably our Duncan that just didn't put enough of the chocolate flavor in there because all Duncans are different. You go to one, even you go to one the next day, go to the same one, go to the same one next day, make it different. It depends on who makes the drinks. They all make them different. They're very inconsistent on making their drinks. Some people put more stuff in there, some people don't. So just because this is how mine is, you may get yours and it'll be super caramely, but mine's not. Yeah, it's slightly caramel, but not, it needs to be a little bit more. I still think maybe if I could stir that up a little bit better, I might get more caramel flavor, but I don't have a straw in here, so I can't do that. So out of five on this one, I'd give this one like a three out of five. It's just okay to me. Okay, now we will go on to the avocado toast. So I'll read you what it says online here about the avocado toast. It says, Duncan is certainly appeasing avocado craving millennials with its new menu item. Beginning Wednesday, the chain has added avocado toast to its menu at all U.S. locations. Duncan said the $2.99 item features a creamy, mouth-watering avocado spread consisting of avocado, sea salt, black pepper, and a hint of lemon juice. The spread is placed atop a piece of toasted sourdough bread and sprinkled with everything bagel seasoning, another trendy flavor. It's served in a special portable box so the spread doesn't smear. We've taken a popular brunch staple and made it accessible for anyone looking for something easy and delicious to eat on the go. This is what it is here. So it has the all seasoning bagel, uh, the all bagel seasoning, which I also looked up here so I could tell you what it is. It says every bagel seasoning is a classic blend of poppy seed, sesame seed, garlic, onion, and sea salt. So that's the seasoning that goes on top of the avocado spread. And this, they did not put much at all on this avocado, on this bread. You can see right here. There's barely, it's a thin, thin layer they put on here. I've seen many other pictures of people and reviews that people have done where they just had a big old thick slab of that avocado spread on there. This almost looks like it dissolved down or something. Maybe, I don't know if maybe they were running low and they just barely put anything on there because they didn't have much left because it's like what time is it it's 4 30 so maybe they're running out so they just try to be sparingly and put a little bit on there because the other pictures i've seen they put a way more than this on there there's barely a thin layer on this one it smells really good though because when i had it in the car i could totally smell the avocado and it's like stuck to the bottom here the bread is stuck to the bottom of the box so yeah, it smells really good. You can totally smell the avocado when you get the spices. So yeah, I love guacamole and then avocados. I like avocado if they're seasoned, like this will have the seasoning on there. So I'm sure I'll like it. I'm not real big on like, like if you just slice an avocado and put salt on it or something, I'm not real big on just plain avocado, but I like seasonings and lime juice, lemon juice and guacamole. I like it like that, so I think I'll probably like this if I can taste it because there's barely anything on there. All right, let me try it. Oh. So, definitely that crispy sourdough bread. The crust is always kind of hard, but then the inside is soft on the sourdough bread. Um, it's not bad, but I'm not getting much of that avocado flavor because there's barely anything on there. 
I mean, look here. There's just barely anything on there. I mean, they barely put any. It's just almost completed to the bread. It's just such a thin layer they put on there. Let me try it again and see if I can get more of that avocado flavor. I'm going to try to get towards the center of it without getting the crust on there. Okay. I got a little more flavor there. I get the lemon and this all bagel seasoning or everything bagel, whatever it was. You know, I can get the kind of the pepper, kind of the garlic and just those seasonings. A little bit of that lemon. But I'm not, I'm getting the seasonings more than I'm getting the avocado because there's just not much avocado on there. I really think it would be good if I would have got more avocado on there. Because it's just, I'm basically getting the bread with just like a little subtle hint of avocado and then the seasonings on there. Yeah, definitely needs more avocado. It needs more avocado. It needs more of the spread. So, if I got this again, I would make sure that I open up the box and look at it first. And if I would see that it was like this, I would say, "Can I get more on there, please?" I didn't even open the box because I didn't think I needed to. And I'm reviewing it as is, so this is how they gave it to me. But next time I would make sure, if you get this, I'd make sure you open up the box. Make sure they have enough on there because this was barely anything on there. I think I would like it better if it had more on there, but based on what it is, how I got it, I like the flavor, there's just not enough on there. I didn't get much avocado. I got just the bread and like the seasonings. So based on how I got it, ooh, how do I wanna rate this? I say like three and a half out of five. The flavor is good, but they just don't have enough avocado spread on there. I bet you if they would put more avocado spread on there, I probably would have rated like, I probably would have said like a four and a half or so because it's really good. But um, yeah, I'm disappointed because most pictures and everything I've seen have had way more spread on there than that. So I don't know, maybe they were just running out. It is late in the day. So the prices on these, the Charlie Cold Foam was $3 for this medium. Their Cold Foams, Sweet Foam Cold Foams right now are $3, I think through the end of March, I believe, for a medium. And then the Avocado Toast is $2.99 for the piece of Avocado Toast. Mine didn't have much avocado spread on there. It's funny because I saw somebody's picture of it and it has so much on there, I thought, wow, that looks like a lot. Mine was complete opposite. It's so crazy how all stores make them different and you get different experiences at different stores, different places. It's just so hit and miss with Duncan. They don't make them all the same sometimes. Duncan is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're gonna get. That's for sure. Cool for Gump. All right, so thanks for watching. And I think there's a few more items at Duncan. I think there's a couple of grilled cheese sandwiches that are new and i think there's some new uh blueberry blueberry refresher I, some kind of blueberry pomegranate refresher or something i think that's new too so hopefully those are out and we find out about them and our duck and has them we will review them for you so thanks for watching and we'll talk to you in the next video bye okay i wanted to add this on here i found a straw in the car i found a straw on the back so I was able to stir it up and as you can see I got all that caramel on the bottom that was there it's not there now it's, it's I mixed it up with the straw because I got the straw at the very bottom so all that caramel syrup on the bottom I got it stirred up mixed up and now it's much better oh yeah way much better I totally taste that caramel now what I'm thinking happened is when they made it, they put the caramel syrup, the three pumps of caramel on the bottom and then put the cold brew on top of that. Then put the ice and then put the cold foam on top, I guess. Which they should. And our life in ADHD, 
had mentioned this as well. They got their chocolate stout and they had the same thing with their chocolate in their chocolate stout cold brew. It was all at the bottom and they had to stir it up to get that chocolate flavor better. Same thing happened with this. All the caramel was settled at the bottom. So when I was drinking it, I wasn't getting much of it. And you don't really want to stir it up when you have that cold foam on top because then it's going to mix the cold foam all up. And that defeats the purpose of having it on the top with the sippy cup. You don't want to stir that cold foam up. But you kind of have to because that caramel is all just sitting at the bottom. So they need, or they need to make it, put it on the bottom, then make it, put the cold foam in there, and then stir it up before they put that cold foam on top. Because it all settled at the bottom. I couldn't taste it. But now that I stirred it all up, it's much better. Yeah, that's really good now. Like, I, now I'd rate it like a, a four at almost four and a half. That's really good. I say four and a half. Right now, it's so good. It's really sweet, really good. It almost tastes me kind of like a, kind of reminds me of like a caramel macchiato a little bit. Mmm, yeah, that's really good. So, if you get this, and it's not very sweet, you're not tasting the caramel, get that straw in there, stir it up, even though it'll, you're going to have to stir up your cold foam at the top, but it sweetens it up so much. Or you could ask them when they make it, if they could make sure they stir up the caramel before they make it. I'm not sure. But anyway, just want to add that much, much better once I stirred up that caramel at the bottom.